Cameron, I think Mike might need this. Yeah, because, you know, as many of you have seen in the last episode, he gets a little winded. Uh, more like beat up very badly by Rich. Rich Maggio, in fact. Yeah, everyone knows Rich now. We're all fans of Rich. Rich, 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 woo! He beat Mike really badly. Hey, Mike, what's up? Ashamed, ashamed. You should just leave. Leave, Mike. You are so bad. Wait, no. Leave the camera, though. Leave the camera. Uh. So, this time, because period seven messed up, we have an interview about wrestling. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Mike Berkowitz, talking to Rich Maggio about the wrestling team. So, Rich, how you doing? I'm doing swell, Mike. How are you? So, how's the uh, wrestling team doing? Yeah, we're going, hopefully doing pretty good this year. First year in the Pac-10. A lot of people came out, though, this year. So, how do you feel about the switch to Pac-10? Yeah, I think it's going to be definitely more difficult, but I think we'll do all right. What is uh, the biggest problem you're going to face this year because of it? There's better teams, better skill in general. So, um, talk about wrestling again. How do you practice wrestling? You just wrestle, like, live pretty much for uh, three hours. So what do you do, personally, to practice? Sometimes you got to hit the, hit, the, hit the weights a little bit, pump some iron, you know yeah. what I mean? And then you can just, like, start grappling people, you know what I mean? Like, if you see someone in the hallway, just come up and just start wrestling. Have you ever done that? Yeah. yeah like I got in trouble, though, so I don't recommend that, actually. Yeah, okay. Um, what do you, how do you win a wrestling match? You either score the most points, win by 15 points, or pin them. So how do you score a point? All right, so if you're on neutral and you take them down, that's two points. If you're on top and you get back points, like you have to get like his back close to the ground, and that's, it depends how many seconds it is. That, and then that, um, if you're on bottom and you get up, that's one. If you're on bottom and reverse, that's two. So um, how do you pin someone? Both shoulder blades have to be on the, flat on the ground for like a split second if you have to have control over them. So what, um, what would you say is control over the person? Like, their back has to be like that, and you just have to like, have a solid grip on them, I guess. Okay. So um, how do you prepare for a match? Now, I listen to music and get my head ready. Well, what kind of music do you listen to? Like Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. Like Taylor Swift is like, I don't know, she just gets my, like, me fired up. Your blood boiling? Yeah. Katy yeah. Perry, she, I don't know, she's just a like, great person. She just get, like, I don't know, it just makes me want to go. Do you have the, uh, you know that song, Roar? Oh, yeah, it's my favorite song. I forgot all the words to that song. Well, I didn't. It's like, drilled into my head. Yeah. <laughs> I could sing a little bit if you want. So, um, what was uh, your record last year? Mm, I don't know mine, but the team, we went undefeated in the league. So, does anyone, like, go past, like, districts? Yeah, Eric and Justin went to regionals. And is that as far as I got? Yeah, and then after that is states, but they didn't make it. How do you uh, think you're the team will go this year? I'm thinking we have a lot of newbies, so that'll be a little uh, frustrating probably. But other than that, I think we'll do all right. Do you have any tips for like the newer wrestlers? Stick with it. Stick with it? It's worth it. So like, do, is there like a high dropout rate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in the beginning. Especially in the beginning. So you're the, the captain, right? Co-captain. Co-captain? Mm -hmm. Who's the uh, other co-captain? Probably Eric Fuentes. Why are there uh, co-captains? Is there like a different in the weight class? Mm, it's better to have two captains and then you get two great minds that come together as one. So um, there's different weight classes in wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. So like how do you uh, differentiate b like between the classes? This is how much you weigh. Like I'm 182, so I'm 182. Like, yeah. Like, that's just the class like you have to be 182 pounds? Yeah, like if I'm like 185 a day before, I have to lose that or whatever I'm going. For that. So, um, what are like a couple like of the weight classes? Like 182 is one of them. Yeah, one, 106 is the lightest, and then we go up to 285 is the the heaviest, and then everything in between, pretty much. So, how do you go about like losing the weight? Running, running, a lot of running, really. Yeah, eating. So, um, the rest, uh, wrestling. So we did that, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think I did? For your first time, phenomenal. Really? Sensational. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about like that that round two? How do you think that went? <laughs> round two, I think it was it was lit. It was it was just. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you anything you want to add about the wrestling team? Come out and support. All right. Well, I'm Mike Berkowitz, talking to Rich Maggio about wrestling. Back to our hosts.